Thank you very much for joining this um, community call. So dedicated to, to, to the open air content providers, managers, uh, basically targeting the repository managers, the create system managers and other um, content uh, providers and data sources that are contributing to open air. So it's always a pleasure. So feel free to ask questions in the chat using your microphone. No, no problems. This, we want always to have it as an interactive session. Usually we don't have so many interactions that people make questions and, uh, and uh, put it in the chat, but feel free to do it in the audio. So basically today we don't have um, a specific uh, topic to discuss, but we have two important highlights. Some one, the first one dedicated to some updates that we did in the dashboard. Uh, so, and we did it really recently, a bit invasive in some areas, um, particularly in the registration part and the update of the YIPM age interfaces from uh, your data sources. So we would like to share with you the, those updates and uh, to check um, and also to inform you that uh, if you find some problems, please please contact us because we, we in fact identify some issues and we are we, we solve it, but, uh, but we may have some more. But uh, so we are happy with this um, recent update that we did and also to share with you uh, that um, Due to uh, uh, the improvement of the quality of the data that we have in open air research graph, uh, and uh, particularly with uh, the alignment with the, the YOSC um, catalog, we uh, have decided to push for a campaign uh, regarding the upgrade of the compliance. Um, uh, particularly dedicated to the basic compliance and the 2.0 compliance. So we would like to have your support uh, for that. So, hope. so and we will present this repository's uh, compliance upgrade campaign or process, uh, whatever we want to call it. So first, let's just check uh, the agenda. So these updates and uh, the campaign upgrade. So together with my colleague Andre Vieira, we will manage these updates in the dashboard just to make some highlights. And then with uh, uh, our colleague Leonidas Piringas uh, uh, from Open Air, uh, we will talk about this, uh, this campaign and why we are doing this, what are the rationale, the integration in the IOSC for you to understand. So you already heard in previous community calls about the IOSC research product catalog by Paulo Mangi or the integration of the open air services in the IOSC ecosystem. So you are aware of the importance of the open air services inside IOSC. You are aware of the um, how relevant um, provide will be in the onboarding process of, of, of data sources in IOSC. So we'll try to make it more explicit. And now uh, this, this is why this campaign is needed. So if you have any, any comment um, or any question, uh, of course, you can put it in the chat, but we have also a Google document where you can also put, because if you are not able to reply to you properly in this, uh, in this meeting, we can put the, 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 the reply there and, and, uh, and inform you. So uh, Andre can also put the link here for this Google document that where we usually gather some questions. So. About some recent news, just some uh, alerts or reminders. So it's always important to say, and we try to be transparent uh, about that. You know that we would like to have an index update <clears throat> of our content every month, uh, but sometimes due to integrations of services and now due to this um, invasive alignment with the um, the EOSC interoperability framework and the the uh, some changes that uh, we need to apply in open air. So the, um, the last content update that is visible in your side when we talk about enrichments, etc., and when we talk about numbers of, of aggregated content is from 26 September. We will have it. Um, we will have a new one in the coming days. So um, hopefully uh, that will be this will be managed. So um, you can check for some updates and for some of you that are, have in fact that usually receive notifications you will be aware of that also 
receiving the enrichment notifications, for example. But we put this information also available in the portal and in some pages. Um, then the other um, the other novelty is the upgrade that we did to the, to the interface. Mainly is related with the, the registration process and uh, uh, with the, the the fact that we now have uh, this uh, collaboration with between open air and fair sharing uh, with in, that the result is the integration of fair sharing uh, directly also as an authoritative uh, directory in uh, in open air provide uh, so the deployment in production of this update was done really recently so if you find any issue, please report to us. We are aware of one or two. We have already fixed it um, uh, even yesterday and the day before some 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 bugs that usually so we found, uh, but um, it's 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 everything available into fair sharing. So and uh, and we always try to be uh, and to update the public roadmap for you to be aware uh, about what we are doing but it's also important for you also to provide feedback if you have any kind of new features that you would like to see you can uh, comment and, and send some uh, some requests about that but of course you can also do it here during the community calls you can send us emails etc okay these are the four new novelties or reminders i'm going now into the details about the, the the recent updates just for you to be aware summarize it in these uh, three bullet points new registration process for repositories for data and literature repositories um, uh, <clears throat> so let's say that we now don't have a, a different process for literature publication repositories and data repositories it will be in the same place using a, a merged set of uh, entries from the three authoritative directories and this is related to the second topic the inclusion of fair sharing so we in the past we had open door for publications re three data for data repositories and now we have fair sharing also for mainly for data repositories but for other kinds of research um, for other kinds of data sources so in one single point one uh, single workflow we can uh, register using the information of any of these three authoritative directories so someone that, that want to register a new source in open air it need to be in one of these uh, directories uh, we try to de duplicate them but uh, so there is some uh, things to fix uh, and in fact one is related with you uh, that are already part of open air some of you uh, because if you want to update the the iip image interface today or tomorrow uh, so you will find the problem so uh, there are at least for that specific part we are we are checking uh, what needs to be solved because things were working well and now we need to solve it about this new merge interface you see a print screen here now you only have an entry for repository uh, so you don't have the data repository currently so you are able to register the repositories based on the information from open door re3 data and fair sharing a journal an aggregator and a CRIS system so last last community call one month ago was dedicated to the registration of CRIS systems the the validation process how how things work with with CRIS systems and everything is in working uh, well so we have these um, four types of data sources and four types of registrations uh, so one entry point uh, and what we do is that we try to deduplicate um, the sources based on the on the three directories sometimes the duplication can be uh, 100% uh, correct uh, it depends a bit on the way that we have in fact registered our data source in these three entries if we have 
uh, completely different way in terms of naming uh, to register something in fair sharing and free in, in three three data maybe we were not able to do duplicate this and we will you will have two entries uh, so this is the issue but as you can see here from this print screen when you when you do this you you see this okay uh, just let me just um, share it so uh, when you when you want to register it, you see this repository journal aggregate and increase systems as as we as we said and the uh, the registration process uh, is starts here and uh, we always put here when was the last update of that uh, specific uh, uh, the directory in order also for you to understand uh, for example if you just registered yesterday in order for you to understand why it's not there but uh, um, things are working quite um, uh, uh, well uh, with updates and uh, the alignment with the, between the apis that we are consuming from open door and with three data so you you have also the, the last update from fair sharing so you can see clearly um, if you have any issue uh, to contact us uh, and you say, okay, I registered uh, one week ago. I wanted to, to register today. So why I don't find, so we will try to solve that issue. So this is now the way that we, we have. We have one example here from Portugal that I prepared just for you to see. So you, you can identify the country and then all the uh, data sources from Portugal registered and identified as Portugal registered in fair sharing open door and with three data will be visible here for you and then you can check if yours is registered or not um, and uh, so and you you will see that so it's it's uh, it's uh, it's easy so and of course this is interesting also because we in fact we have a more clear view about the sources from a specific country uh, you may have like I'm, I'm checking this now you may have a, a repository from a specific university that um, is registered um, is registered in one uh, the publication repository is registered the the data repository is not registered and you can check this in this single page so this is nothing uh, extraordinary, but I think it was important for open air as these three directories are authoritative. Okay. Um, okay, this was what I wanted to, to highlight. Andre, should I highlight something else uh, uh, that uh, people should be aware. This is the most relevant thing that people will identify, of course. Um, yes, <clears throat> you, you, you present as the most relevant update. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So what I was talking about is that in this part of the update, uh, you can also update the interfaces if uh, any change was done regarding a specific OAIP image interface, you can register the new one but if you identify any any issue please contact us we are aware of some issues here in this part specifically but we will try to solve it as soon as possible be aware of, of that I'm, I'm i'm repeating about uh, three or four community calls ago be aware that you you can always update the terms of use if um, if you didn't manage that you can always in this update tab you can always update the terms of use which is something uh, relevant. Uh, okay, um, so I'm not using this moment as a, to demonstrate the service. I'm just uh, um, I'm lighting the the most relevant. Let's let's go now. Do you have any question about this? Um, Andre is putting also the way that you can contact us. Uh, the link you can send us um link so we finally have a new help desk uh, help desk ticket system which means that we are more responsible uh, responsive so you just need to send us email to help desk uh, at openair.eu and uh, you will receive a proper reply an automatic reply and we will uh, for sure ensure a reply in 24 or 48 hours um okay nothing else here in the chat so let's now present to you 
and uh, it will be Leonidas to present to you uh, this important uh, upgrade process that we want. Some of you, uh, I know some names, maybe the majority are OpenAir 3.0 compliant or some four, but uh, it's important for you to, to, to know what are the implications of being a basic OpenAir compliant or 2.0 and what are uh, what is the, the importance now to do this upgrade because of also because of FUYOSC. So Leonidas, please, the floor is yours. Uh, you are going to share your screen and the slides is better, maybe. Yes, thank you, Pedro. So Leonidas is also a colleague that you already know from previous community calls, but for those that are here, so Leonidas is part of the open air team that can support also in things related with the uh, guidelines, the provide, etc. So feel free also to, to, to ask him the questions. So he's part of the team and you know him. Also, Leonidas, please, now. Yes, thank you, Pedro. So I will uh, continue to say a few words about the, the upgrade campaign of the repositories that we have been designing uh, uh, in order to, to help all the data sources that have been registered to OpenAir to upgrade their compliance level using the OpenAir guidelines. Okay, first of all, uh, we should answer why. Why are we doing this? Why are we designing a campaign to upgrade the compatibility level of the repositories? Well, first of all, it's because of the technological developments and the ongoing, ongoing updates of open science mandate, mandates and standards. OpenAir is constantly improving and optimizing its guidelines to align with this evolution of the open science, strengthening their compatibility value. And of course, with the EOS infrastructure, as you have already, as you already know, uh, only the data sources that are compatible with the version, the, uh, the Open Air Guideline versions three and four, will be fully embedded and be on board of the infrastructure. So, now let's see the updates, the introduced updates according to its level of. Uh, compliance on the open air guidelines for the literature institutional thematic repositories. Well, version two introduced the European Commission project funding programs and also uh, introduced an extended namespace, which was uh, is a generic way of expressing project identification apart from apart only from the European Commission for project funding programs. In version three, we have the introduction of the Horizon Europe funding program and the functionality of linking of publications to other publications, references, and to data, data sets. And in version four, we, we have introduced the Dublin Core and Data Site schemas. We have new OAI metadata prefix and the new, a new schema namespace with additional elements. We have also introduced identifier themes for authors, organizations, funders, and scholarly resources. We have also introduced the core controlled vocabularies, and we are aggregating data in compliance with the open air content acquisition policy. And let's see what does open air collect according to the compatibility level of your data source. So when we, uh, with the open air basic driver compatibility, open air collects only open access content. With open air version two, open air collects only European Commission funding content. And with open air version guidelines version 2.2 plus, we collect open access and European Commission funded content. In the, in the version three of the open of the compatibility level with the guidelines, we collect open access. We collect not only open access and European Commission's funded content, but we also collect national or other funded content that comes not only from European Commission. And of course, with open air guidelines version four compatibility, we are capable of collecting open and closed content 
always according to the new content acquisition policy. Here you can see a graph with the number of data sources that have, uh, with a compliance level they have as they are registered in provide and in open air. And as we can see, we have uh, many numbers, many data sources, many repositories with the basic driver. And our goal is to contact, to go through all the data sources that are prior to version three compliant and urge them and help them to upgrade the compatibility level. Our goal is to upgrade the compatibility level to version four, as this would be the best option. So how we are designing in general, and at a glance, how design, are we design the campaign? First of all, we will contact each repository manager separately, informing them about our campaign, the compatibility level, what and what they need to do in order to upgrade their compatibility. We will provide support and guidance. We will define actions for the upgrade compatibility for each according to its to the software platform that each data source uses from this space. And even we will help also the ones that use a, a software platform that this has not uh, incorporated the, the open end guidelines such as this space. We will prepare online guides for this. Of course, we will schedule with you even one-to-one -one meetings in order to assist you on this upgrade of your data source. And we will also produce a few video tutorials to help you again, upgrading your compliance. And of course, the provide the community call here is the place where we will share updates, information about the whole campaign. So in this graph, you will see, you see the importance of being open air, of being compliant with the open air interoperability guidelines version three and four. And by that, you will be fully embedded in the EOSC infrastructure where also all open air services will be incorporated. So here in the next uh, graph, uh, Pedro will, uh, will say a few words here. Yes, just this is really just to to conclude this part and just to present a, a diagram that is quite um, um, so diagram that was really done recently just to clearly present the onboarding process in in Yosk and to place open air is not a, a diagram done by open air is from them then uh, under the umbrella of the Yosk future project that is preparing this. Um, uh, Yosk onboarding workflows and where you can see on the on the, on the bottom on the left side the open air provide as a service that is providing and supporting the registration and the onboarding of, uh, of data sources and you we can register data sources via the uh, normal onboarding and registration process in Yosk or via the open air but you always need to register the service specifically in 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 in, uh, in Yosk. Uh, but uh, you can see that uh, being part, uh, having a, a compliance level 3.0, 4.0, uh, you uh, let's say are compliant with the the, the interoperability framework um, where we rely on and. Um, and with this, uh, you can uh, have your research products, your records, publications, data sets, etc., from your data sources, included also in the in the EOS catalog. Specifically, when we talk about research product, uh, research products. Okay, and this is just a, 
a simple uh, simple diagram just to place so the, let's say that the other diagram that Leonidas was presenting is the the workflow from the perspective of open air this is the the diagram the onboarding diagram from the perspective of the EOSC that is being prepared okay it's not, it's uh, not fully in production that is being prepared and that uh, um, until of the the end of this month things are being uh, uh, shape it to to be delivered in, in production but in fact if you go to the yosk catalog you will you will see already uh, products there so the registration process is also being uh, updated uh, so and you are uh, here in this community calls also to be aware of this so um now you, we, we can have your questions. So it's, it's critical to have this uh, campaign that Leonidas presented. Uh, we are here to support. We count with the commitment of... Uh, of um, we, we can maybe maintain the, the, your diagram, Leonidas, with the, the, uh, for this moment of the discussion, the, previous, the two previous slides. Maybe you can maintain it, just people also to realize. The, yes, the previous one, I think it's good. Yes, this one is, is great. More color. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have some <laughs> some uh, some um, comments here already. Feel free to to turn on your microphone and ask questions. So now you can ask questions about uh, all the things that I I said about the upgrades, but also about this uh, campaign and the need to be. Uh, so John is asking: Will the support and guidance also for three dot zero compliant repository to get four? dot zero compliant we okay we have a project okay we are trying to get for dot zero compliant but any guidance will be welcome okay yes john so we are happy to support um we are happy to support the so it's not because we have this campaign that we don't support the the other <laughs> upgrade of of, of compliance so 3.0 to 4.0 for sure we 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 have it so Feel free to ask questions in the, in the in the in the help desk. We can report to you. Also, feel free to to so to, to contact us. And if if something needed uh, from our side uh, more than uh, a normal reply to the ticket system, we can we can have a chat with you for sure. This is this is easy to do. So we are available to support any compliance uh, so issue, okay? So you can test uh, using the validator. You can um, report to us some job that you have in the help desk uh, ticket system. We don't have a kind of chat box, but we have the, the help desk ticket system now is working uh, quite well. So we, we have a new system. Everything is, is properly... Um, uh, working properly so just use help desk at openair.eu don't go through any other link available in the in the in the in the portal just contact us via that and you will see the tickets in our new system <clears throat> what about guidelines for that archives they are not updated from yeah but the guidelines the, the say thank you stefano for your question it makes sense they are aligned with the um, we also need to work on that. Maybe Andreas, my colleague Andreas, is here. If you want to say something, <clears throat> it's 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 also critical because there are some alignment also with the new metadata schemas from data seed that need to be done. But so this is only critical for guidelines for literature repositories uh, for data and CRI systems. They are part of the. Um, they are part of the. Um, of the YOSC uh, interoperability framework. So uh, I, I should have said that before. So this is, uh, there are some things that are not so straightforward, but uh, we will not put complications on that. So uh, data, Chris, uh, 3.0 and 4.0 uh, will be included um, in, the, in the framework of the onboarding of YOSC, let's say. I hope it was it was clear. Andreas, do you want to help me to say something about? Uh, so for sure, we need to 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 have um, an update of, of, on the guidelines of for data repositories. 
but um, so feel free also to go through the GitHub and provide some feedback and see if there's anything critical, just, just provide. We, we, we always try to be, to have workflows that the community can be involved. In fact, the com guidelines from open air are, are from the community. So are not anymore from only open air because they are being used uh, a bit in different places of the world. They are being um, integrated in national environments. So we have this in Europe, we have this in Canada, in Japan, so in, in, in other regions like La Referencia for, for Latin America. So Stefano, be aware of that. Andreas, do you want to, do you think is it something interesting that you can add also to this reply about the, the, the data archive guidelines? Yes, thank you, Stefano. So Andrea speaking. Um, we have uh, some up, uh, updates for the guidelines in the pipeline. Um, the first one will be um, the CRIS, an update for the CRIS guidelines. Um, this is uh, finalized and hopefully we um, have this end of this month. Um, the second part is for the an update uh, for the institution and thematic repository guidelines uh, to reflect their evolution in the last uh, three, four years. And um, the next part after the institution and thematic guidelines are the data archive guidelines to reflect the upcoming work of uh, data site. And um, as you know, data site is, uh, have requested some comments on the new data site SEMA mm -hmm. uh, version 4.5. Uh, and uh, we are um, in contact with data site regarding these in SEMA and we'll reflect these ones yes. also. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, this is this is uh, also it's becoming critical because now with the release of this new uh, schema, we we need to work as soon as possible on that. But with all this um, so alignment with the with the OSC, so other priorities <laughs> were on top of our of our work. Any other questions? So feel free to also to ask question uh, using the microphone. So we don't need to. I hope it was it was clear. Uh, so the updates that we did, I think it's an interesting thing that now we have a new authoritative directory. Feel free also to register. Uh, so to register your source in, in fair sharing as the fair sharing is now an authoritative source, but you are part, you can be part of open air via open door or with free data. Um, regarding this, uh, if you are here and you are 2.0, 2.0 plus or driver compliant, uh, which was great. Um, at some point, uh, it still be good because we are exposing our content to be consumed by, uh, by, by, by the web, by the aggregators, etc. But now it's critical that we, we we do this effort to to update. So. Just, just point us if you can. You can also contact me in the chat or directly. So feel free to to, to do that. I think this is important. If you, if we don't have any other any other topic uh, question, um, also, so these were the only the only two topics that we wanted to highlight, but. Uh, feel free to, to ask uh, another things. If you have any issue that you, you want, uh, we always try to, to reply. So we know that um, we had some issues in, in, in provide the dashboard regarding the updates, regarding the visibility of some enrichments that we are trying uh, to be on top of that and, and properly reply some also in the registration process, uh, but we, we have things in a transparent way presented hope that you are happy with that even the user statistics um, are uh, working well so feel free also if you don't have uh, yet enabled the user statistics service feel free also to, to do so we have uh, also colleague Dimitri is here to support so okay so uh, our upcoming call um, 
we will have it in the, in, in December. Uh, so um, we will have the, the, the community call. Uh, let me check. I'm not sharing. Slides. Okay. Oops. It's happening something here. Um, so, community call on the first Wednesday of this December will be in the 7th of December. Okay, great. Just before an holiday in some country. In the, uh, the eight Catholic holiday in some countries. So, but the Wednesday 7 of December, we will have the community call. It will be the last community call of this year. We were not sure about the main topic, but uh, for sure we will do updates regarding the, um, the IOSC. Okay. Uh, for sure we'll do updates regarding the, um, the, um, the updates uh, of the dashboard and then Andreas is also writing in the chat so feel free to to ask maybe it's also interesting Andreas to share some of the the updates that we are that we want to to do in the guidelines maybe we can share it in in, in the upcoming call okay put in your calendar uh, December 7 same time um newsletter so be aware that the recordings will be made available you will receive also the slides from this session um, and then also subscribe the newsletter i just want to andre to check if we have any question in the in google document uh, just to be sure that we can reply so we always send in the first week of the month the newsletter if you don't receive it subscribe it we send it usually for the the all the admin and the managers emails in the um, uh, assign it to each data source so we do that so feel free but but, but feel free also to disseminate to your colleagues uh, in your institutions because they can also receive the newsletter in newsletters, you can subscribe to the general newsletter of Ubonero to the provide newsletter. Okay, no more questions. Andrea just point also to some links, important links in the in the in the guide. It's important to say that the guidelines are open to feedback. Okay, this is um, uh, the UNIB colleagues and, and and the other colleagues did a great work to put it available in GitHub. People can comment, uh, do suggestions. So feel free to to, to do that. We always try to put you, to put you in, in up to date. Okay, so next community call. Subscribe to the newsletter. No more questions. No more comments. It's great. We did the community call in in 40, 40, 45 minutes, so we are free to work in the rest of the afternoon. Thank you all for joining. Um, I see some colleagues. I know some 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 names here i hope that everything is okay with colleagues from different uh, parts of europe from different countries thank you for joining um, uh, don't hesitate to contact us for any any question okay bye bye all we will uh, make the the community call open for one or minute more just for you to copy paste any link that you want to copy from the chat and see you next month andreas thank you